Hi all, welcome to my channel, I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods. Now today guys, we are going to start probably our first video on the Trumpeter Titanic. Now, um, I have started work on the hull, I've been doing some recordings on that, and that video will be out in the next few days, I do promise. Uh, but one of the first things I did when I got this Trumpeter Titanic is I did order a mod for it. Um, and I just want to talk about and show you that mod. So what we're going to talk about today is decals for the Trump Titanic. So I'm just going to show you the uh, decal sheet you get with the kit. So perfectly fine decal sheet, I've got to admit. Okay, so we've got, uh, we'll go, here we go. Right, it does look quite long, <laughs> but it's not. I don't know why the camera's doing that. Okay, but we've got a few things on here. So here we've got the um, little uh, decals for the lifeboats or decals um, for the lifeboats there. We've got obviously the French flags. You can either have it as a waving, wavy type or just a solid. We've got notices there for the triple screws. Um, we've got the little Highlander wolf uh, plates there. We've got the American flag, white star line flag, and then we've got various sort of uh, signs here. And basically then here we've got the uh, Titanic uh, nameplate, uh, the Liverpool there, and we've got the Titanic bits here. It's very hard to see um, one of these colours. I don't know if you can, you can sort of see what we're looking at. Um, and then down here, which is even harder to see because this is white on top of dark blue. But if I just follow the line down there, we do have the waterline numbers for the bow. And then here we have the waterline numbers for the stern, uh, for where the rudder would have been. So, this is perfectly okay uh, for the kit. Not a lot of decals compared to some uh, military uh, vehicles you will get. Um, kit so you might find there's a couple of pages of decals and bits and pieces like that but it, it, it's a standard kit you know there's, there's nothing wrong with this decal sheet and um, yeah you can easily do whatever you want to do with this but you, with me I wanted to go that little bit one step further and just get things a little bit more accurate um, so I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with this and I'm not saying I won't use anything that's on this because you know There's various things here um, that still can be used um, But what I decided to do and I had to ship this all the way from Germany Was I decided to go for a lot the the advanced decal sheet Now when I say advanced decal sheet this sheet has more decals on it than it does on here And it has more different variations and other ones um, that uh, that are not on here and for the ship that I'm doing this isn't just a, a this is you know my once in a lifetime uh, build I want to have the best I can do and to upgrade it the best I can do so from this sheet here which is the standard one you get if I just put that to one side and if I just open go into here okay so this is from like I said, it's from Germany, and basically this is what you get. Okay, so as you can tell, there's a few differences here. So again, we've got the notices for the triple screws. They look a lot bigger there. Okay, then you've got other notices. Now you've got these now in different colours. So you've got them in red, white. You've got them in all different variation of colours there. Um, because some people did say that they were sort of like a black and a white instead of what we actually got. So that there gives us the option on what we want to do if we want to put them on. Um, I think a little bit more research uh, there uh, for me uh, to put these on. Um, the second thing is we've got here, which is the 401, which was the uh, slipway for the Titanic. So these are the numbers that would have been stamped on the bits that were coming into the shipyard. And then they'd know from that number which slipway it would go to. 
and Titanic was 401. There is actually quite a clear picture of the Titanic down uh, in, at the bottom of the ocean and it actually zooms into one of the propellers um, for the Titanic, one of the uh, outer propellers. Um, and it does, you can actually see the stamp 401 actually labelled on there. So if I bring this up to the screen, you can see it a little bit better. Now, while I'm up here, again, these we didn't get on the previous sheet. These are for the uh, these are for the bridge, so the telegraph poles. These would obviously tell the engine room what uh, it wanted the uh, engine room to do. So what speed it wanted it to go at, what propellers were going at, what rate and everything. So you've got them on there as well. Um, like the other sheet, we do have the uh, we do have the bow. Uh, and the stern waterline numbers here again this is very hard to uh, pick up because again this is very light blue but the numbers do look a lot lot better and clearer on this sheet um unlike the other sheet we do have uh well sorry like the other sheet we do have the uh lettering for the boat so you've got the white star line flag uh, and everything on there and um, in here, now this is something that's um, quite unique, is we do have some bits for the bridge, uh, some decals that will go there on the bridge. So you can see just how detailed this sheet is. I mean, I could talk all day about it. Um, I can definitely see a noticeable difference between the uh, names for the ship. So if you look at that, if I can try and get it into focus and then you compare it to say that it's a really hard to get it in this camera there is a noticeable difference this is a lot bigger a lot taller as well and then this bit down here which is the Titanic and the Liverpool for the stern is a lot smaller so you can see a noticeable difference in them again we've got the flags we've got the harland and wolf uh, nameplates they're a lot lot bigger than uh, on the original um and yeah it's just a lot better now this is um if i just move these out of the way for now so this kit is from uh peddington house decals and like i said this is from uh germany um get a bit of information sheet there so there we go get a bit of uh, processing instructions get the address and then as you can see here we do get a sheet explaining where some of these the new decals are gonna go so there we go we've got the where they're gonna go on the boats uh we've got the uh, notices uh, some more decals here we have the rich for the bridge now you really do need your magnifying glasses to get in here and actually read what's going on again we've got the bow lines and everything so you can actually see where some of these are going to go uh, a lot of it is obviously common sense what we've got um, on the list for the original decals but this really does just make it look a lot lot better a lot more accurate as well and i think it's definitely an upgrade now i will put the link in the description down below to where i got it i did uh, purchase it on ebay um so the link will be down below where you can get this advanced decal sheet it is for the 100 uh, 1 200 scale titanic or similar model so yes you could use these um decals on the harshet titanic so I mean, for me, we've got the boats here, the, um, you know, the transfers for the lifeboats there. We've got our transfers for the lifeboats here. Well, it'd be a little bit stupid not to maybe take some of these off here and not put them onto the uh, lifeboat on the Harshet version. Same with maybe some of the flags and the signage, you know, 
what it, it just you know i can use both these sheets one you know for the trumpeter model and one for the half set model so you know i am going to get the value out of these no matter what now like i said there are other kits out there um various kits but i'm really happy with what um came um in the post it took about a week to come from germany so that's not too bad to say we're not even in europe anymore um but it is just really interesting and it's really going to be uh make a difference to uh this model uh as you can tell we do have like the guides to where these things go but uh it's fairly self-explanatory and i think this is going to really make the model look so so much better uh when it's done so it's just something guys i wanted to share with you today sort of the first video and the first uh modification i bought for this ship like I said, there will be more videos coming uh, in the next few days. I have started to prep the hull. Um, so we have started working on sort of the injection molding marks, sanding down the, them and the line marks. So that will be coming in a few days. That video will go out. And then the next video after that, uh, we are going to have to start looking at doing the portals. So that is going to start become very, very interesting. Um, because we've got a lot of portals to drill out but uh, it is what it is it is the kit at the end of the day and it's the kit that i chose i always wanted to do so this is definitely a labor of love um so uh yeah that, i thought i would share that to you today as one of the first videos so we're modding already and we really haven't done much yet um like i said i got these i think the day after um i got the kit so I think I might have even ordered these before I even got the kit, to tell you the truth. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really pleased with them. Like I said, the link is down in the description below uh, where you can get these decals if you're wanting it for your Harsha or you're wanting it for the Trumpeter Titanic. Um, also down below in the description is all the links to my social media pages for the channel. Uh, there is a Facebook group, uh, Mark's Mods Builders Group, which you can come along and join. Uh, anybody can share their work on anything down in there. Also, there is a Patreon for the channel and a membership as well. So if you'd like to become a, a Patreon or a member, then please check that out as well. Everything that I get from YouTube and everything I get from Patreon and membership all goes back into the channel. So it would basically be all going back into this model. Uh, at the moment so uh, yeah and the quirky thing we are doing at the moment is if you do sign up you will get on the passenger list for this trumpeter titanic when it sails in the next few years time when it uh, becomes completed but um that's it for me today thanks to everybody for tuning in um if you like this video please could give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you're notified of any future videos but as for always guys uh, stay safe and bye for now